Hey, everybody. Hello. How are you? How are you? Doing good. Great. How are you? How are you? Doing well. Are all of you in Norway right now? Yes. Yes. So is it like seven or eight o'clock there right now? Yeah, yeah. it's uh, 20 past eight, I guess you could say. Yeah. So 20 it's, past uh, eight. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, right now out here in California, it's uh, 11 20. 20 past 11 yeah. so big difference hey, i just want to be a funny story i almost passed on this i saw it in my inbox and i was like hard pass i didn't really take too much look at it i'm gonna be straight honest with you then the persistence of your wonderful wonderful pr company they sent it again and so I said, you know what, I'm going to give this another look because it, everything deserves a second a second look, I think. So I looked at it, went through the trailer more detail, read more about it, and I, I slept on it. I'm like, you know, this, and I started thinking, this could be good. This could really be good. And if I don't try it, I'm never going to know. And so I'm glad to say I'm happy that I did check out the movie and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So thank you, the three of you, very much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Really appreciate it. So, um, how do you pronounce your name? Is it VR? Uh, Villar. Villar. So, yeah. how did this the story come together? Because you also wrote this, correct? Yes, correct. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> I were, uh, for many years I had this imagery of you know a person in a dog costume, but I didn't really have a story. Um, so the second thing I started to think about was um, like what kind of person would own a person in a dog mm -hmm. costume uh, and then you know it didn't make sense to have you know a normal person living in a, uh, you know in a normal apartment you know it had to be someone who had a lot of space who had privacy you know mm -hmm. and uh, so it had to be somebody of uh, a, a lot of wealth and that's how I came up with Christian when I started thinking about wealth, I kind of um, was reminded of Fifty Shades of Grey, actually. Yeah. And um, that type of story of, you know, a rich person with a dark secret who meets a girl. Um, and then I thought I would perhaps try something like that, but do like a little bit twist on it. Um, so those two elements was at least what kind of started uh, the whole process. And the, the title, was it always Good Boy or did you have something else in, in mind? Uh, so at first it was actually uh, me, you and Frank, a more okay. like a spin on uh, a romantic comedy. But um, I think uh, I'm really happy with, uh, you know, Good Boy. I think it's um, it gets right to the point. Um, no, it does. I agree. It, fit, it fits right in. And um, is it is it is how do you pronounce your name i'm so sorry is it guard right yeah uh guard is great <laughs> you know and you <laughs> definitely i know he mentioned 50 shades of gray you definitely looked the part and that actually was you know kind of kind of resonated you know on the on the screen throughout the whole film which i thought was was great and is it katrine yeah that's good katrine, both your chemistry together on screen both of you were were wonderful and Thank you. You know, one thing I got to ask, there had to have been some funny moments when you were filming. <laughs> yes, a lot of funny <laughs> moments. <laughs> I think working with this concept that is so in many ways weird, uh, we both tried to stay open minded. And then in some moments, just really trying to take things seriously and looking at each other and really like, and then going out in laughter because we have to keep ourselves on the slack, you know? Uh, but yeah, the, the thing is, uh, looking at the movie, which is one thing, but also thinking back, we had so much fun. Yeah. It was long shooting days, uh, but we, we had so much drive and energy. And I think it's because there were um, no ego involved with the project. We really just went together had a low budget and really wanted to try something that we saw as a challenge, but also um, a fun experience. And if you, uh, what about you, Katrine? Do you have any funny moments that you can share 
I'm, I'm not sure if I remember because all of it was like in a bubble in a way because we were living in the same space as we were filming yeah. and uh so but I just remember like all of the good energy we were having yeah. and uh uh I think also I <laughs> It's not really about the filming, but I just remember that we didn't have a lot of water in this uh, location. So, yeah. <laughs> so I remember that uh, we, it's like, can I shower today or is anybody else going to shower then? Yeah. <laughs> I have to wait for tomorrow or, or jump in the sea. So it, it was like, it was so pleasant being there and being part of a so dedicated um uh, uh, team uh, even though none of them really wanted to go swimming in the sea with me uh, but uh... <laughs> we had a well for our um for uh, our water and it was uh it was very hot summer days so it uh, it dried up nearly instantly so oh, no. i um i shouldn't say this but i probably went four or five days without showering uh, during the filming but uh, in solidarity for the <laughs> actors <laughs> <laughs> I remember a lot of fun moments when we met new people that weren't involved with the project in the small town outside of Bergen uh, and trying to explain to them what we were making and uh, sometimes we were calling pizza restaurants for example uh, just to try to get some food um, and <laughs> They asked, well, do you want to talk with my manager? And said, of course, yeah. Um, so what's the movie about? The manager asks. <laughs> and then I'm like, the OER and Katrine Louise. And like, do I lie or do I actually? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was that was fun. Well, that is funny. And the, the you know, the the dog costume at times it was really, I mean, I wanted to kind of laugh. But then again, I was kind of scared. Like I was very unnerving. It was a very unnerving costume. So I didn't know how to feel most of the time. Um, how did you, how was that costume developed? Because it was, it just looked so unique to me. Like I'd never seen anything like that before. Yeah, thank you. And I think that was one of the main, the whole film actually, you know, it's uh, uh, the audience isn't really supposed to, like be know what to feel especially in the beginning right so the thing about the dog is that um we were unsure or we had a lot of discussion if it should be a mask or if it should be like a makeup and you, you show the face but i think uh, we ended up with the mask because you don't want to see um the dog's emotions and facial expressions if they're sad or um you know happy or scared I rather forcing the audience to kind of project their own um, feelings and thoughts onto uh, onto the dog, and then not being sure, you know, what the dog's intention is. And when it came, you know, we didn't really look at uh, dog breeds. Um, we kind of just wanted Frank to be Frank, so it was yeah. kind of like have like a uncanny valley where, it, like, it, it looks like a dog, or it looks like it's supposed to be a dog, <laughs> but uh, you know, it. Uh, doesn't really look like a dog it looks like uh, something in between where you know you always constantly reminded that um uh, or at least in back of your mind you're constantly reminded that it's a person but also with the mask you you can't see the person so you kind of forget that there is somebody behind it it's at least the intention I think you're absolutely right. I think that was the best call to go with that costume versus makeup. Cause like you said, there's no emotion to be displayed. I mean, obviously the, the person acting as the dog, you could tell when it was happy or dissatisfied just by normal dog emotions that it would play into, but it kept it really creepy. And you really, like you said, you didn't know what, what was going on. I didn't know what to expect. I thought I knew at one point where the story was going and then it took a couple of turns and I'm like, Oh, I know where it's going. Then again, it took another turn. So constantly on my feet, you know, just wondering what was going to happen, which I absolutely loved about this film. And um, the ending of the film, was that the original ending that you intended to go with or did you have other endings in mind? Um, no, I, I think, yeah, I think that was always uh, the plan. Um it was yeah that was kind of what we were building towards there were definitely discussions especially you know the ending ending if you know 
where we wanted to go. I remember, you know, when we had our last table read, uh, you know, we were all kind of quiet and then we're like, yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's, I guess we're going for it. Um, I guess that's just what we're going for, but we, yeah, but we were all kind of in agreement that uh, we wanted to take a chance and yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, and I think that was very exciting for everyone that we were making something that was uh, perhaps a little bit out of the ordinary. Yeah, and you know the ending was a good payoff too. So, so good job Thank on you. that. And then Garden Katrine, did you get to improvise at all or anything as you're going through, you know, your your scenes? Because they, or was there any challenges that you guys had, you know, interacting with the person in the dog suit? Both good questions. Um, I think since we used a lot of time going through the script, we wanted uh -huh. to be close to the script as possible. And I think the improvisation and exploration comes within the, the emotions portrayed and the actions you do. So you uh, try to make um, the exploration about, yeah, the, the act or the acts, the acting itself. Um, and with the dog, I asked several, I think the thing I said most during shooting was, are you okay to the people that, there are two people that play the dogs. One was the costume designer and producer, Marie, uh, which played for the most of the half. And then Nikolai, which stepped in for the parts where at the, at the ending. And just seeing how much it takes out of a person to, to play that part in that costume, with the uncomfortableness, mm -hmm. it's so professional. And I got to give them a lot of gratitude and honor to that. Um, and they were so, so dedicated. Uh, so I think the hardest thing for me was to accept that they, they would tell me if they weren't okay, you know? Uh, yeah. No, uh, just agreeing with the both of uh... yeah them really but uh, it was just also interesting uh, to see how fast our mind just accepted this new reality of this mm -hmm. dog uh, so that's also why it, we needed to be sure that uh, the person's playing uh, this, uh, this dog was okay because uh, yeah, yeah I just have to give them a lot of credit for, for their work because uh, uh, they gave us a lot of freedom uh, as well uh, interacting with them so uh yeah just grateful and it's good because it looked all natural you know as, as you know watching it it looked uh very natural looked very smooth and even myself as i went through the film i kind of forgot that it was almost a person in, a, in an animal you know in a suit mm -hmm. because just they they did so well with just capturing you know i have a little dog at home just so just like i kind of i kind of look a little different now i'm like you know but it just capturing all that you know it just um it made it you know very believable to where you could actually forget that it actually wasn't a dog and you know kind of a sense so so that was that was great for you know both of you and then guard you know your character um christian he just would go sometimes from hot to cold hot to cold and just and like there's a couple of scenes where he was joking around you know the character and i was just like wow that was just impressive how you could just go from you know just playing it straight to just being just uh, funny so yeah. i just you know great great job to all of you i like i said i really this was a unique story unique film and i would have been so upset with myself if i would have passed passed on it so it was just i had a mm -hmm. lot of fun with it is there going to be a sequel <laughs> any plans for a sequel or anything anything with this <laughs> uh, there's definitely you know there's definitely uh, places to go with it but uh, yeah. I think I like I like I like the fact I like the thought about you know sequel being in the audience's head if that makes sense that you yeah. know people yeah. can kind of um, imagine what you know what the story is uh, before actually and of course what's happened what's going to happen next what will you know, this um, scenario looked like the next 5, 10, 20 years and what's going to happen to these characters, I think is, um, I think can be um, fun for the audiences to, you know, discuss and um, think about, hopefully. 
No, I definitely agree because I'm already wondering. As soon as it ended, I was wondering, hmm, is there going to be more story, you know, for us to to delve into? And you know, just in real, real, real quick for me, you know, I really enjoyed even the beginning parts of the story, you know, with uh, you know the whole dating app and you know the two characters meeting up, you know, having a meal together and just getting to know each other. Just it just really felt just gave it that more realism. And something I could see actually, you know, happening because that's what everybody's mm -hmm. on now. Their phones constantly and just, you know, the whole the whole dating on the apps and everything. So, like I said, really good job for the three, you know, three of you really enjoyed it. Thank you so, Thank much. You so much. And I, I think we're about out of time already. It's gone so quick, but I wish you yeah. got three of you the best and um, I'm looking forward to, you know, anything else you guys are doing. I'm going to, you know, keep checking IMDB and uh, you know, see what you guys are up to. So hopefully we, we hopefully we can talk again soon. Hopefully it's about another, hopefully it's another sequel or something or in this <laughs> realm, in the horror realm. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Hopefully we're, uh, I'm at least uh, in post-production on a psychological thriller. So perhaps we'll talk again. Very soon. good. Very good. All right. Well, three of you have a wonderful night and thank you so much. Yeah, thank you too. Nice talking to you. Great talking to you. Take care. Take, Take care. care.